Do you understand TPMS? First, what is TPMS? TPMS stands for Tire Pressure Monitoring System and uses one of two ways to monitor the air pressure in your tires. TPMS is required by federal law on all passenger cars and light trucks built since September 1, 2007. Now there are basically three types of systems used to monitor pressure. Systems with sensors inside the tires and systems without sensors. The economy system, which uses the car's ABS system to look at the number of tire revolutions per minute or per mile, uh, because when a tire has significantly low pressure, it will rotate at a different speed because low pressure changes the diameter of the tire. See, lower pressure means a smaller tire, which turns faster or more revolutions per mile, and higher pressure means a bigger tire that turns slower or fewer revolutions per mile. Now, indirect systems do not have sensors inside the tire, but instead use the wheel speed picked up by the ABS wheel speed sensors, and they convert that data into the tire pressure. But this system has several limitations. Most significant is that if all four tires are low, the system will not trigger a warning because it looks at the difference in wheel speed between the four tires. If all four tires are dangerously low on pressure, but their pressure is the same amount low, they will turn at the same speed. Indirect systems must be frequently calibrated, normally using buttons on the car's dash or steering wheel. Now, calibration has to be done every time you add air to a tire, rotate tires, replace tires, and so on. Not difficult once you know how, but a nuisance nonetheless. Next is the most common type of TPMS, which uses a sensor built into the tire's valve stem. Now, this system sends a signal from the sensor to a computer inside the car, which in turn notifies the driver of problems. Now, there are two variants of this TPMS in that it may give an actual pressure reading on the car's dash for each tire and a system that simply turns on the yellow TPMS warning light. These systems have their flaws as well. Most notably, uh, to generate a signal, they have batteries, and over time, the batteries go dead. And when they do, you have to buy new sensors because the batteries are not replaceable. Now, the third type of TPMS is where a sensor is mounted back in the center of the wheel. These sensors are held in place by huge hose clamps that go all the way around the wheel inside the tire. Now, these sensors work just like the valve stem type, but are slightly less prone to external damage. They still have batteries that go dead, requiring sensor replacement. Now, the big thing to know about all TPMS systems is that they do not monitor for best pressure. They only monitor for dangerously low tire pressure, and some monitor for dangerously high pressure. So, just because you have TPMS doesn't mean you don't have to check tire pressure once every month to ensure proper pressure and best tire wear and fuel economy. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Goss's Garage on YouTube, follow us on Facebook, and for more car tips, tricks, and money-saving ideas, visit goss-garage.com. Drive gently. See you next time right here in Goss's Garage.